no food, thank you. I got a little feather on my bagel. Oh. Bird feathers. <laughs> Yeah. Aspirin? Mm, please, uh, it's beautiful detail on your jacket. Oh, thanks. Oh, lovely. Got in Los Angeles. Mm, and great glasses, actually. Oh, mm. look great on you. They're, um, they're Cutler and Gross. Oh. Cutler and Gross of London. Oh, oh they're nice. I like that. You. Yeah, they really do. They look good with your hair. Let me see. Do you like that? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Try please. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, I like this. Oh, I really yeah. like this one. You look good with a bigger frame. Yeah. Nice I should try and get some. No, that's, yeah, try that's enough good. Try these ones. They're fashion sunglasses. I like that. No. no. Pamela and Jane are passing fucking sunglasses. The battle lines are drawn. Family, patient, as usual. You know, I think Mark is going to leave with Pamela. Neither one of them will have him. You don't think? We went out last night. You ever, you ever see that movie, Day of the Dolphin, with George C. Scott? Oh, it's a great movie. All right, everybody. Today, Kelly and I are going to do a demonstration of what we call list work, which is an opportunity for everybody to have their say, to tell your truth and be assured that you'll be listened to. And it's probably going to be the most important work you do this week. Yes, so show up with an open heart and an open mind and know that there is no such thing as failure. And uh, in order to help, there's a structure to this. You'll find it in the back of your books there under list work. All right, and it follows a very strict formula. Four parts. There are confrontations. There's about five or six of those. Does that mean things you hate about each other? Then appreciations. And let's try to have a, at least as many appreciations as we have confrontations. And not have 17 confrontations and no <laughs> appreciations. I know it might be hard. <laughs> then we move on to goals and then our agenda. Kelly and I will do a demonstration. You get to pick how close or far you'd like to be from each other. A comfortable distance for you. You'll sit down. And you'll preface your remarks by suggesting that these are your thoughts and your perceptions, and the other person doesn't have to change. All right? We'll do a little demonstration so you get an idea of what it really sounds like. And confrontations comes first. It looks a bit like this. Kelly, these are my thoughts and perceptions, and you do not have to change. When you don't listen to me, like when you walked away from me yesterday when I was trying to apologize to you, I felt hurt. You see that format? When you like when I feel. All right? Here's an appreciation. Kelly... When you show me how much you care for me, like when you reached out and held my hand last night in bed, I felt loved. Got it? That's the idea. Make sense? And an agenda, in order to change or improve our relationship, I realize that I must earn your love and not try and buy it. Hmm. Right now, I'll ask for a response. And Kelly, do you have any response to that? What do you mean? No more diamonds? <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea, all right? Is that clear? Yeah. We all yes. do these. Absolutely. Yeah. Family members. Yes. I don't have a pen. No pens. We'll have pens for you. I, I've got oh, a pen. We do these yeah, right pen. now? My problem is the list doesn't fucking cover half the things I feel. So when Kelly Rose are fake, like probably the day she was born, I feel like when she smiles. Sarah, why don't you just listen to her? I feel cheated. Help. And cheated no, is not Sarah, on the list. And cheated is not. What? Okay, but how does she... Just leave it. How does cheated make you feel? Pissed off, like buying okay, drugs, pissed off like smoking crack. Sorry, <coughs> Joe. And you have to distill down from that feeling that you have. It Pam, just sounds like bollocks, Harry. Who made Could up? Just stop smoking, here? please. Pam, Pam, please stop smoking. It, it really upsets Kate. Oh. Watch no, you want me? No, don't mind. I, um, yeah. I'm sorry. <coughs> They've thought about it I for just... a long time. And sorry. This is a distillation. I'm really nervous. I'm sorry. Of, you know, uh, too many puffs, and she's happening. singing like Tom Waits. Just a drag. Uh, take, take it. Thanks. Thanks. Say my family so died in feelings. a house fire. Yeah, the, huh? only, the only the core feeling yes, for that would be sad. Clearly. Yeah, being pissed off. You know, it's really hard to concentrate when you two are babbling on like that. All right, okay, no problem. I respect your space. That is so rich coming from Perhaps you trying to rip her head off in the garden. I'm choice. just asking you very politely to shut the so fuck up. You know, You're babbling is not polite, neither is shut the fuck up. But uh, being impolite is not really helpful either. You want a slap. I'm just saying. When Jane is a neurotic cow, like the whole day that I've known her so far, I feel like... Touchy. No, come on. I feel like battering her. Which is not a core feeling. Fucking angry! Anger is a core feeling, that's good. I'm just saying. And that's an expression of that anger. I don't want it easy, baby. I don't want it sweet.
Ricky Rowe used to say that one poke of the fire brings on the desire. Just give it a trust. No, no, it's good. Carry it's there. It's happening. <laughs> no, it's good. It's really blowing up. Oh. You know. Oh, what? Last night when I was in bed, this yeah. melody oh, hi, was going on higher yeah. in the back of my brain. It was fantastic. I mean, that's the way she is, Kelly. It just... hasn't happened for months and months and months. It's great. You know, it's like a dog with a bone. Yeah. Not, not a dog, you know what I mean? I don't mean to interrupt, but yeah. I'm just curious. You know, how's the list work going? I've done a letter. Oh, excellent. Yeah, well, I think letter. this would be yeah. a great time to work on the letters if this, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, Shall so, so I go excellent. first? No, Sorry. I want to get it out of the way. Okay. Over and done with. Right. Yeah. Dear Joe, after 14 months, of no contact, I find myself sitting here in front of you, much to my chagrin. That's it, that's it, that's the line I've been looking for, that's it. It's a lyric. Much to my chagrin. Oh, I know, I know, yeah. Kate, but you know, we're... No, I just have to write this down, sorry. I've, I've wow, this well, down. isn't this interesting? I mean, you are an inspiration to her. I mean, well, did you, yeah. do you see that? He's an inspiration it, for you. It's a bit like that thing that John Keats goes on about, you know, the negative capability sometimes, <laughs> you know, I think I sort of inspire by default. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Inspired to a fault. <laughs> yeah. And Joe? Oh, my letter, yeah. yeah. What happened to the Gucci pair I bought you? Well, I told you that, that bloke with the beach at Manhattan Beach, you know. Um, he stole them. Go on. He's a mugger. Go on. Dear Kate, you didn't deserve me, and I didn't deserve you. you. Do you understand that? Yeah. I have been such a drag on your creative brilliance. Like an anchor, encrusted with barnacles of unacceptable behaviour, I have lied to you, sponged off... What are you writing? No, no, just go ahead. I'm listening. Sponged off you, embarrassed you, and yes, once been sick over you. Yeah. Yeah, you and Jean-Michel Jacques. Even when I slept with your manager, Chris, who's a woman, for your information, Kelly, but that was just one more betrayal, one more amongst many. I love you so much, Kate, and I hope that once again, you might love me and trust in me and believe in me. So. Is that ash from the fire, or have you been smoking again? Um, it's, uh, yeah, Pamela, Pamela, she, you know, one puff. You know. Did you hear anything that he said? Did you? Yeah, he said, um, anchor encrusted with barnacles. Do you mind if I just tease that out a little bit? Should we check it later, you know? Well, can I have, can you just pass me the list? Right, I'm all ears, I'm all ears. Did you hear that he said that he loves you? <laughs> yeah, I know that. Do you that. know that, though? I mean, both of you, you speak, you say so much, but if you could just condense it and, and, and go to your core feelings. I know, just uh, got to get into my core feeling, right? Get into the kernel of the nut. Hit yeah. that jargon. Hit it. Use it. Use it. It's not jargon. It's helping me. It's no more jargon than the highway code, you, you know? mind if I just... Okay, so these are, um, my boundaries. Oh, goody. If you interfere in my life, like when you did the intervention, I will resist you. And if you continue to interfere in my life, I will take court action and I will get a restraining order. Oh, I'm so frightened. Yeah, well. Thank you, Mark. Jane, if you wouldn't mind, just this once, please reserve your comments until after, and let's do your list work in your own time. So pathetic. Okay. Mark? Okay. What? Mark? What's that? Kelly, can you Mark? keep your bitch on her um, Mark? Just remember, Please. this is a time to listen so that you can hear his truth. Thank you, Kelly. Mark, in your own time, Jane. <sighs> These are my thoughts and perceptions. <laughs> And unlike Mark's, they're all true. And uh, uh, you don't Mark, have to change because you probably be won't anyway, asshole. Do you hear this? Hey. Asshole. Uh, hey, excuse me, you had your turn to talk. Will you let me do mine now? Could you stay on script, please, Jane? Use the format. When you flaunt your